I am extremely thankful to the organization to select the case study in the international conference. We are fortunate enough to have a support of uh, FCDO by which we enough to have the support of uh, by we, we could demonstrate such a brilliant case which speaks about our local adoption to climate change. Now I request my colleague to present the case. Thank you. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Tula. Uh, I'm representing Suva. Uh, who uh, is I'm representing uh, Suva, uh, who is working uh, at the basic level. So, uh, so uh, today I'm going to speak about uh, MG, uh, MG Energies and uh, how, how it has impacted the lives of people through the help of ICRG. Next slide, please. So uh, yeah, now Mahatma Gandhi National uh, Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme, often uh, called as MG Energies, and it, it was passed by the government of India in 2005 with an aim to provide uh, livelihood securities to every household uh, whose uh, adult members volunteer to do unskilled manual uh, work, at least for a period of 100 days. It is one of the largest public programs. Uh, 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 program in the world with an annual budget of uh, 13 billion US dollar. And it also covers districts of India except the one with 100% uh, urban population. So when we uh, speak, uh, speak about MG energies, uh, so I, I would like to recite one uh, uh, you know, saying of Mahatma Gandhi that India uh, lives in its villages. And yeah, of course, more than 65% of our population lives in the villages and most of the people are agrarian. So uh, most of the employees are landless and marginal farmers looking for livelihood opportunities. So, and uh, we, all, we all have witnessed uh, the aftermath of COVID-19 and how it has you know, drastically impacted the socioeconomic condition of the people. And you, you can see the map, uh, you, you can see the graph here that uh, it depicts as a strong administrative uh, structure from national village level based on bottom up and participatory planning with social audits for down, uh, downward accountability. And all the government machineries, you can see all the government machineries are involved in the success of schemes like central government, state government, then uh, district administration, block administration, panchayat, village panchayats, and of course the main stakeholders are the households. And the house, and in, in this particular uh, uh, situation, the households of the uh, Sahar Pada block. So till now, this scheme uh, uh, has covered uh, more than 125 million households, <coughs> sorry, and 250 million people across rural India. So next slide, please. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, uh, Infrastructure for Climate uh, Resilient Growth, that is ICRG, uh, is, uh, uh, it, it is a bilateral cooperation a program between the Ministry of Rural Development, that is MORD, Government of India, and the Foreign Commonwealth Development Office, uh, that is FCDO, with, with the aim to provide uh, or aim to improve the uptake of uh, service delivered by the MG energy scheme through systematically considering climate change in its planning and implementation, and thus supporting, uh, uh, supporting resilience of groups of society that are most vulnerable to climate change. And specifically, it, 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 it aims to strengthen the quality and the productive, productivity of infra, uh, infrastructure built under uh, MG energies to support a resilient uh, livelihood through ground, uh, groundwater recharge, and uh, like uh, you know, micro irrigation, soil and water conservation, and plantation. So ICRG plays a, a big role over here. And it, 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 it also provide uh, technical assistance uh, to, to, the, to the Ministry of Rural Development, the Government of India, and its three states, basically in Bihar, Chhattisgarh, and Odisha. So uh, next slide, please. 
yeah so this this uh, slide speak about the uh, using of uh, mg energies to support adaptation and moving beyond vulnerability threshold uh, in, in in odisha so how it has impacted the lives of people here so uh, the, uh, the, so climate risk management uh, is basically uh, integrated uh, in M uh, mg energies so it, uh, it is yielding uh, results uh, helping poor uh, uh, invest in climate resilient and livelihood strategies it, uh, it is also created a platform uh, by you know by way of shaping uh, shaping the barren land and provisioning uh, water uh, water bodies and uh, the next one is uh, it also help the community to engage in farming a uh, farming or or farming related activities uh, throughout the year it is helping the people to earn more and creating employment opportunities you know it is also helping to stop the uh, you know migration also at a certain extent <clears throat> so it has drastically changed the lives of people in saharpada through this uh, particular program and so many people have been benefited out of it uh like you know uh, like cultivation of uh, potatoes and and also they have been you know uh, they have uh, they have been helped through this program by building different kind of bunds and water shed water shed and water harvesting also everything has been uh, helped by uh, this particular mg energies and icrg program so many settled tribes community as uh, especially uh, the gondu community has been helped i know uh, they have been their lives have been changed we can say at certain extent so next one please uh, yeah this is uh, uh, next slide please yeah so this uh, this slide uh, speaks about uh, the aligning with the eight lla principle and uh, initially we uh, uh, no no we have been uh, told uh, regarding the eight lla principle how it has uh, helped the people and especially uh, uh, helped the people and it has been changing the lives of people uh, particularly and we have adopted five principles over here uh, yeah five principles uh, here in Sah saharpada block like the uh, first one is developing decision making to the lowest appropriate level and where what 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 we have done the community leaders participate in decision making uh, forums then we have actively engaged them in planning and monitoring as well as uh, uh, in adaptation of works in their local area then the second one is addressing uh, structural inequality uh, inequalities faced by women youth children uh, disabled and uh, displaced and indigenous people and uh, marginalized ethnic groups yes and we have been helping the kondo community here uh, the, the the tribals we are helping here the specifically the gondo community the sts and we we are bringing them to the mainstream specifically to the women to the mainstream and uh, the th fourth the, the fourth one is uh, investing in uh, local capabilities to leave an institutional agency the key strategy to develop of building uh, the lo the local capabilities to understand climate issues uh, plan and execute how we we are going to execute that and we have been executing uh, nicely over here in the other hand through direct support of icrg and the ground issues and initial challenges have been addressed all the whatever problem has been uh, faced by the people over here and it has been uh, addressed Uh, by this program and spe specifically with the help of icrg and the initiative has already been institutionalized and owned by the administration and hence it is sustainable in long run yeah this program is sustainable in the long run and the fifth one is building a robust understanding of climate climate risk and un uh, uncertainty proof sensitized uh, sensitized at, uh, has been done through cso like suba we have been sensitize the people we have created awareness program we we have been trying them to bring them to the mainstream and so many people has been uh, come come to the mainstream and they have been uh, the, their lives have been changed through socially economically as well as climatically also i'll also speak about uh, in the next slide about the same thing 
So how the journey, this is the journey of the adapting, uh, the next slide please, a journey of the, uh, yeah, journey of the adapting uh, climate change impacts and in, <clears throat> so moving beyond uh, vulnerability threshold. Yeah, yeah, this uh, slide specifically uh, speak about how we have uh, helped the, those people, how we have changed their lives due to the successful implementation uh, of the scheme in Saharpada blog. The lives of people has been immensely impacted uh, uh, in terms of socially, economically, and environmentally. How economically they have been impacted due to the convergence with ITDA converted, con uh, we have been, you know, converted uh, cultivable waste land to a productive, uh, productive land with intensive integration of farm-based livelihoods, giving livelihood security to families directly. And, you know, the, the cropping area of the farmer has been, uh, uh, you know, uh, rose from five acres to 33 acres in Kharif season and five acres to uh, 18 acres in Ravi season here. And their income has been also drastically increased here. Then how they have been uh, 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 helped to uh, socially. So uh, what happened continuously, uh, we have you know, provided them a training support. We have, uh, we have been sensitized them through this. Uh, uh, the, you know, they have been, uh, you know, the, they're enabled to take, uh, take part in the decision-making system and increased mobilization, mobilization to public places such as engagement with stakeholders and all. So the linkage with various line departments uh, such as ITDA and OAIC enhanced the income of the farmers and help them to think of livelihood opportunities through the year. Then how, yeah, and, and also the district administration the block administration also, they have been help, uh, helping us uh, immensely at the grassroots level. And the third one is the environmental impact, how it has been impacted environmentally. Uh, so the heavy runoff water and soil erosion uh, from upland to the, uh, to the Nala check. So the direct runoff rainwater to the Nala is uh, managed, thus helping in uh, you know, recharging of the groundwater. And it, it is, we have also done the soil quality and the moisture content of the soil is now enhanced. Over burnt cultivation, burnt cultivation adopted by farmers led to strengthening of burns. So they have been immensely helped. And finally, the last one is institution strengthened to sustain the initiative by, by the administration own guidelines to the scale of the initiative development. So, the, uh, <clears throat> They have been uh, helped, they have been uh, impacted, their income has been uh, increased, and you can say doubled also, because they are earning uh, much more than before, up, up, after the intervention, I can say. And uh, their li lives totally, their, their lives uh, is changing and it will be changed in, in due course also. And the same thing can be, uh, we can also replicate in other parts of the state, or, or other part of the district as well. So the, the last one is looking forward. So uh, what, what opportunities are, uh, are lying ahead? For the next three years, the MG Energies continue delivering climate resilience infrastructure across the cluster, following ICRG integration uh, uh, approach with ITDA and OAIC. Then uh, we need to continue to strengthen the capacity of uh, implementing agencies who are implementing the project at the grassroots level on climate responsive planning and uh, planning and designing of assets. Then uh, the increasing the collaboration with other departmental schemes. We can easily converse this scheme with other uh, departmental schemes, especially forestry, water resources, agriculture, and the regs, uh, yeah, the, as I said earlier also, it can be replicated across India, the same. Because it is, we have been seeing it and uh, in Odisha also, it is one of the best uh, case study which we can show to other, uh, other people or other part of the country. Thank you so much and thank you so much for uh, hearing me and uh, giving me this opportunity.